This past week was SEMA 2023. SEMA is all about innovation and bringing the community together. So not only did we get to display some of our best builds at this event, we also got to see so many of our friends. Today, I take you guys through a week at SEMA, seeing some of my favorite builds, getting HKS's reaction to my R33 GTR, and even having a full shoot with HKS. Buckle in, kids. <laughs> hey, Dad. Also, Br Brian is here now. What up? <laughs> we got the whole squad here. SEMA week. To start out the rest of our SEMA week, I went around and made sure to go see all of our industry friends and partners that make what we do actually possible. Like I said, SEMA is as much about connecting with people and friends as it is looking at cars and parts. From Japan, it is yeah. first time here at SEMA. Finally. If you guys don't remember Nobusan, we, when we were in Japan going around by ourselves, Nobusan actually took on a little toge run in his R34 and my 34 and it was so much fun. It's crazy to see him in America. Yeah. So we're here uh, visiting the actual HKS booth, which you guys know we built the HKS R33 for this year. You guys saw this in my video when we actually went and visited HKS USA. This has the HKS RB28 001. That is so cool. Yeah. So cool. Hey, baby. <laughs> Why was that so... <laughs> Butch Miller. Butch Miller's here. What That's my alter ego. Look who we found. I can't believe Tom made it all the way to SEMA. To Dude, but, I have two cars here like you. Oh, They're just yeah. not mine. They're just not yours. You just we built just them. We just built them. We did. So there's something that I definitely have to show you. Uh-oh. You've already seen it. Good or bad? Good. Great. Oh, oh. I, I've seen it, but not in per... Well, I, I honestly asked Grant. I just took that picture and walked away. Yeah. We I like, like this. Yeah, this is sick. Let's take a look. Uh, so Who would have thought? I've always loved the Hasemi side extensions that you have. Yeah. Like, I have the Nismo battle myself. Yeah. Because those look... It looks... Great. Thank you. Thank I you. Like Look at Tamerson just just chilling in, in SEMA. Like, yeah. Oh, he's, he's, he's taking a picture of my phone. He's gonna laugh about it with his friends. He's <laughs> like, Look at this piece of <laughs> <laughs> We are nearing the end of the week, but there's still so much more to see and so much more to do. Excuse my voice. The SEMA week is definitely catching up to me. Today is Thursday, but I figured a lot of our big meetings are done. A lot of the things that we had to really go and do is now done. We have a couple of meet and greets to see you guys, and we can finally take a break and walk around, see some of the cars that I've been dying to see, and go see some of the booths that I really want to see as well. So I figured I'd take you guys along today and just have a full, fun day here at SEMA. I'm trying to find some of my favorite JDM cars. So it's currently 9 a.m. and this morning we get to start out with something super fun. We're doing a meet and greet at the McGuire's booth indoors. I wish we were able to have the car in here for the meet and greet as well so I can show a lot of you guys in person. But we just gotta head right over here in Central Hall. We go to McGuire's, see some of you guys hang out, and then we get to take a tour of all of our favorite cars here at SEMA. Or what we like to call the JDM tour. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. We got the whole setup. We got you guys coming to hang out. First in line, right? First in line, ready to rock. Pack battle. You want to go? You ready? Yeah, ready? let's do it. Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay, I got to pull. I got to pull. I got the good Ooh. one. I had him sign my shoes last year. As always, it was amazing getting to meet you guys, but now it's time for us to walk around and see some of my favorite builds. I haven't even really gotten to walk around and see all the new parts and everything yet, so I want to take you guys around to see some of my favorite cars and boots and everything. I think we're going to start here at Gretty, of course. And you guys already know, if you haven't seen already, Sakamoto-san has brought another garage active car to America. And that's one shop that you guys know that I have got to visit when we go back to Japan. It's just so far out that we haven't done it yet, but this is on my list and on my radar for hopefully this upcoming year, we can actually go and visit the actual garage active shop. Check this out. Brand new garage active 32, this time in the blue carbon. You guys have already seen like the regular carbon. You've seen the midnight purple carbon, and now he's brought out a blue one, which is absolutely sick. Sakamoto-san, watch me do this. Domo. Thank you. <laughs> so, so cool. And of course, it has the Gretti RB28 for the engine. Absolutely sick, guys. Absolute goals every time. I'm just waiting for Sakamoto-san to do an R34. That would be like the pinnacle. I'm sure it's gonna happen someday. Squad. 
one thing that we have to see out of everything is of course the HKS booth. And one thing that I love about the HKS booth is they brought back the OG OG livery from the very beginning, which is super, super sick. What's also cool about coming to visit the HKS booth is whenever we picked all of our stuff up for the R33, we got a little sneak peek at what they were bringing and they finally, this was the actual Red Z that we saw when we visited HKS and they finally got it ready. It was iffy if they were actually gonna get the new kit on, which is really cool. But yeah, it has the canards, the front lip, it's got the wide body fenders. You know what's super sick about the Z? What's that? None of this has to be cut. It's just the entire car. You just put it on. The front fender's replacement, all this is stick on. Even the rear fender over here, all of this, none of it has to be cut, which is super, super nice. So if we end up keeping the Z, this will be a really, really awesome option for us. Speaking of the Z, we should go check that out. Our Z is right next to the HKS booth, which is super cool, but you guys can kind of get a look at the Savon kit here. Still can't believe it. And you know what's crazy? One of the cars that you guys come up to most about here at SEMA is the Z. This thing has been so cool to actually see and just build along with Savon here. All the carbon bits look so cool and especially displayed at the Savon booth. It looks so good over here, but you guys gotta let me know. Should we keep it? Should we get rid of it for something else? I'm so torn. I know T-Money, Tiana really, really loves this car, but I just don't know. Let us know if maybe we do an HKS kit, something like that. Let us know in the comments, but it does look really good at the Sabon booth with all the new pieces. One thing we had to do though is get the HKS team to tell everybody to go see the R33 GTR. What the project that we created, we gotta go check it out, right? <laughs> so stealing the HKS guys right now and going to see the car. <laughs> what a surreal experience, guys. Though literally, we got to work together on this amazing build, and now for the first time ever, you guys actually get to go see the car and see like this awesome project that we created. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody's been loving it. <laughs> awesome! Thank you, thank you. Oh, it came out so good. It's nice. <laughs> it looks so good. Thank you. <laughs> I like it. Nice, nice, nice. I can't, I still can't believe it. It still doesn't even feel real. Being able to show the HKS 33 to actual HKS is, it just doesn't make sense in my head. You know, like it doesn't, doesn't process, but this is such a cool experience. This makes me think all I'm, I'm excited for them to find out what's coming, you know? Yes. Lots of really cool projects and ideas for even after SEMA, like I told you guys, this is just the beginning and I'm so happy that you guys enjoyed it because we're going to do a lot more. It's going to be awesome. Arigato. 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 Just the start. Yes, this is just the start. And I'm very excited. It's going to be awesome. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah. Quick Airbnb check. If you guys watched last year, you might remember this one. We got the same one. Welcome to Cribs. All right, so we got the first editing up, table. Go, right here's the editing table. This is where all the magic happens. <laughs> Going down right there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, right here, this is where I'm sleeping. You know, uh, it's good, you know, for one and everything like that. Right here, we got the, you know, the 55 inch flat screen, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, TCL, that brand's not even out yet. Sometimes I'd be in here chefing stuff up. You know, I don't know what we made right here. I don't remember, but, um, you know, basically, Everything that you need right here. Yeah, we got the Frito dip, you know, the bean bit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a little grape. Protein, protein shakes, protein Ghost, shakes. we're stacked. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Ghost, shout out to Ghost. <laughs> we gotta put some cool music behind Let's this. Let's crack one on. You can play the music right now. I think that's what they always do. Put it in fast forward, that's what Redman does. Look at that. This right here, life water they call it. Follow me. Right here. You know, this is where nothing happens. That's the bunk beds, you know what I'm saying? Hey. It's all good, that's Ryan's room over here. Um, you know, still not totally sure what these are yet, but you know, just, that's the thing. Uh, this right is magic here, you know, room. this is, uh, you know, this is where Dustin and, you know, Tiana be doing their thing. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, that's the well, Airbnb tour. That was good. SEMA's cool, but what's even cooler is the third party activities outside of SEMA. Look at the boys. Oh, look at this. Hold on. Look, look, look at the boys. Drip. drip. Dang, is that that dang. drip? Ooh. Where's your team money? Oh. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Star of the show. <laughs> this is 
something that happens every year. We have a McGuire's dinner that we go on. And this time we're bringing the boys. A little bit different. We're doing uh, darts tonight. It's going to be pretty fun. Like I said, the best part about SEMA is all the third party activities that happen. Sometimes good, sometimes crazy. Tonight's going to be a good one. Hi guys, welcome. We are here at Fight Club. And tonight we're going to be dining with McGuire's. See ya. Just a couple boys. <laughs> Good morning. How do you feel? Really, <laughs> really good. <laughs> This might be the best thing anybody has ever brought to a meet and greet. <laughs> he saw when I absolutely destroyed my hand and I was wearing bandages. He found corgi butt band-aids. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Look at this. <laughs> that is amazing. Well, I know. be ready I, this time instead of a cotton ball and like tape is what you had or something? This is amazing. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I'll yeah, tell you yeah. right now, the bandage he had wow. Our last and final day, we are spending here. Hanging out with all you guys for our first meet and greet to start this morning. Say what's up, guys. We brought you guys some legend stickers and we're gonna have a good time with the meet and greet this, this is amazing thank you dude <laughs> yeah of course man. as i always say getting to meet you guys is the absolute best sharing our inside jokes and listening to all of your stories never gets old so today to start out at valvoline we're doing our last and final meet and greet of sema Wow, that was insane. Thank you guys so much to everybody who came to our meet and greet. That was so much fun, but we're gonna go along for our last day here at CMI. And like I said, just see some more cars, see some awesome builds before we have to take everything back out of this place, which might be a little bit more hectic than actually loading in. So we're gonna go see some awesome cars. I've had the chance to check out some really amazing stuff that I wanna show you guys. So. Let's go. One of the hottest places to go in SEMA has got to be the Tread Pass. Most of the time we have Sakamoto San's uh, Garage Active 32 in here, but you guys saw this time it was in Gretty. But there's a lot of other really awesome builds in Tread Pass this year. One of my good friends Daniel's Full Carbon Aston Martin is in here. It's got to be one of my favorite builds in the Tread Pass this year. It's got a full dry carbon front end, which is insane. But also, as you guys know, it's Rock and Key 37s in the OG Bronze, which is also my favorite. This thing is oh my look at the seats with aston martin carbon buckets too yeah this thing is actually pretty freaking wild figured you guys would appreciate these couple of builds right here absolutely insane supra this this hood is wild but there's also a very uniquely modified nsx right next to it these wheels are crazy kind of almost like a euro style like a jdm euro style nsx almost but it's pretty cool. Yeah. So, you know, I've never been a big super guy, but I, know I that. always appreciate a very well done super. Like Brian Super, for instance. Yes, Brian Super. Love Brian Super. This. this is a fantastic built Supra. So, number one, right off the bat, it's a Varus kit. You guys know how much I love Varus. The brand new raised wheels, which are absolutely sick, but also it has a crazy V mount turbo or intercooler setup, I guess you could say, with an awesome hood here. This thing is. Oh, and it's right hand drive. That's actually sick. Very, very well done and put together Supra. If I ever got, whoa, look at this. That is a crazy exhaust setup. I'd be interested to see what his whole engine setup is with this. But this is a very, very well done Supra that if I ever got one, this is exactly how I will build a Supra. I was telling you guys about this kind of like 
Euro-inspired JDM NSX build, but Ryan pointed something out to me. Look at this. It is twin bottom mount turbocharged. That is crazy. I have uh, never seen that before. That's really cool. Only at SEMA. Only That's at cool. SEMA, dude. That's cool. Look, man, if someone ever asks what SEMA is, man, you tell them SEMA. Oh my god, that was. That's not going to vlog. Come on. Come on, bro. Only. That, that's the joke that only the boys will laugh yeah. at, you know? Yeah. You gotta be homies with them to laugh at that. Yeah. <laughs> Another one that I kind of wanted to go into a deeper dive with you guys, of course, is the Spoon FL5, the new Spoon race car for this year and even next year. They are racing this next week, actually, at the 25 Hours at Thunder Hill. But I figured it's here, and we got the Spoon guys over here as well. Let's give you guys an in depth look at the new Spoon FL5. We even got Jimoto san all the way from Japan here. Hello, guys. Hey. Nice to see you. Hey. Hey. Jimoto san Good to see you. See you. The, I want the in-depth look at some of the All cool right. spoon parts. Do you guys remember, Aaron, whenever we did my Spoon S2000, this is who helped us here in the U.S., which was really, really cool. And now you guys are focusing on the FL5 and beyond, right? Yeah. Well, the car is built in America, so, um, you know, I was heavily involved with it. Um, but yeah, I'll take you for a walk around. Yes, that would be awesome. Immediately, you guys are going to definitely recognize the front end with the spoon lip, the new fog light setup. I mean, it's really crazy. Yeah, so that shroud one-off design for this car yeah um, by cody casale um you know model 3d printed and it's uh it houses the fog light which is what we need it's so uh, cool cooler is in there Whoa. you can see it right there yeah 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 and then uh this is oh. actually the spoon mitt did you, did you guys cut it up for yeah, the splitter we cut, like half of it off That's so cool. uh it was getting too low with the splitter yeah. so we cut half of it off and this houses there's a light break duct oh it's a light bar yeah, and nice. your camera can probably see so it. what's cool is like like i said they're doing the 25 hours of thunder hill which means they're gonna be driving at night 25 hours yeah. 25 hours straight you guys actually won last year Two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, we won our class two. Years this ago. year, their driver lineup is ridiculous. Yeah. They have Tarzan, DK, Die. I mean, so many awesome yeah, drivers. Yeah, we have a lot of good drivers. Wow, that is so cool. Yeah, this is a prototype car coming out soon. Uh, nice. Spoon plug cover. Wow, other, look at all the cooling, that, yeah. Yeah, other than that, it's just heat shrouding and um, pretty stock motor. Absolutely crazy, dude. Fully gutted, painted very nice, custom cage, right? Yeah. I saw the whole 3D process. That was really yeah, cool. Yeah, uh, Chair Slayer, he comes and scans the whole car, makes a model of uh, basically everything inside, outside, and then he designs the cage in CAD. Uh, models it and then uh, it's robotically bent and cut and everything so it just uh, pieces together you could tell like the cage is literally hugging the entire body so it's like one piece um, and it's like welded to the body of the wow. car same with his bottom bar it's basically just part of the car right um, sequential and, trans yeah we have a quave six speed sequential transmission um, <laughs> God. Oh, wow. Feudal. Yeah. Uh, triangulated. We have a radium fuel cell in here. Wow. So, uh, oh, air are, jacks. ESD yeah. Air jacks. The, the rears are here. The fronts are um, welded to the cage. Right. This oh, guy, that's so here. cool. It's not like a signature mark. For yeah, it. that's his logo. We kind of just stuck it on there. It looks kind of like those restaurants where it has the piece of paper <laughs> yeah, that the, yeah. the celebrity It's signed. so cool. That's like a really cool little Easter egg for people that like when they come see the car and yeah, like they kind of yeah. like know about it, you know? That's really cool. Yeah, because he sent us his logo, but we didn't know how to and get cool, down right, the car because yeah. it's, you know, kind of complicated. Right. I like we, that. We tried to match the yellow, but it didn't. I, it's kind of cool. It kind of turned that, out nice. I think so. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. A, like I said, it's like a cool little Easter egg yeah. for people to come yeah. find. Yeah. Uh, uh, something that I really love too is the wing, the spoon wing, dude. Yeah. This is the spoon so, right next boiler. It'll look very much much like this um, I believe we're running a different one uh, for the race okay um, we need a little more downforce but this is the street version we'll okay. want to display that at the show right. so everyone will see so when I was actually in Japan with Spoon and talking to jimoto -san, he was telling us that their initial wing was a little bit too high or it, it created too much yeah, downforce this is different so is this is profile okay perfect so this is the updated version so when I showed you guys in Japan their type R they might have had like a, a bigger wing but like jimoto -san said back then they kind of made something a little bit different four street that had less downforce which is what you can yeah, see here it's better balance for the front lip that we'll be introducing it's, nice it's, both pieces work together yes. this is so crazy i am so pumped to see this thing actually running on the track uh, yeah. then of course yeah, lexan yeah all lexan windows um, we have a spoon sparkle collapse steering wheel wow. spoon, uh, sparkle collapse harnesses yeah uh, which will all be introduced for yeah. the public later on yeah, um, and another big announcement is a collaboration the with the brakes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 
Is that a uh, yeah, Republic right? piece that you Yeah, design? we will be making the calipers available to the public. <clears throat> How sick. Yeah, well, Aaron, thank cool. you so much, man. Course, that was man. so cool. And you guys can look forward to seeing this thing run at uh, Thunder Hill as well. It's going to be awesome. You know, there's a lot of stuff in here. And Lots. a lot of things catch my eye. But one thing in particular that I really wanted to take a second to see, and it, it's like sensory overload when you get here. But there's like specific things that I like to go see. One that just absolutely blew my mind was this actual gt3 car gg's car is really cool but now it's time you can actually see like an actual gt3 built car for imza racing absolutely insane and i've never been a huge bmw guy but like the pinnacle of motorsports and like consumer cars i feel like bmw is really ahead in that and this as a package that you can buy out of the box is pretty unbelievable this is an endurance cup <laughs> imza car this car retails if you bought it from bmw five hundred and seventy thousand dollars is it that much it's five hundred and seventy thousand dollars you can buy this car from bmw i'm sure the waiting list is <laughs> astronomical but like when you're talking i've raced plenty of bmws yeah. this is an absolute pinnacle of bmw race yeah. cars yeah i have one of my favorite parts are the oz racing center lock wheels it's got some ap racing brakes which is actually what we're running on the fk8 which is really cool look at this aquapravic exhaust that is actually insane Talk about complete, like if I had shot unlimited budget, unlimited budget for a race car. But I think we have something coming up very soon that might satiate what I'm looking for here. Yeah, but totally. But just potentially. Yeah. It'd be really weird if we got like some sort of BMW. Yeah, it'd be really weird if you got a BMW car. <laughs> And Ryan actually told me that this is pretty cool. This is for their like light up numbers when they're racing at nighttime so you can see their numbers. Yep, so sometimes what they'll do is they'll either do a light up number here or they'll do an LCD panel and it will change Whoa. what place you're in. So like when people are watching or like, you know, That's expecting crazy. it'll show you what place the car is in. Dude, how baller is that? Talk about like boy racer dreams. Like this is complete pinnacle goals. This is absolutely sick. And look at the swan, the swan neck carbon wing. Very, very sick. Lots of wheels turn into my head. Super cool. Oh my gosh, this is so sick. Look at this seat, dude. The whole setup in here is wild. Yeah. Damn. Talk about pinnacle. This is insane. Race car goals for sure. Dang. Thank you guys for taking the time. This is yeah, course. yeah. Wow, look at all the carbon here too on the cage. Wow. Oh my god, look at this too. Look at the door card. Yeah. That's crazy. The door card. Wow. Look at this. Alright, let me yeah, let me I just got I got it. That's pretty cool. We did it. We did it. We made it through an entire SEMA with the most cars we've ever done, the sickest booth setup that we've ever done. This is insane. And also, this is just the beginning. Still. Next, year, next year, we're already, I, I can't say anything. Nope, I can't say nothing. You gotta wait. But now, the fun starts, like I told you guys. It's time to get the cars out of here. So, huh. I think we can start them up and get out of here. Yeah, let's do it. Ryan's gonna drive the FL5. We got Timber on the WRX, and I'm gonna be taking the 33. Now this is going to be the difficult part. We got to get out of here. That's my ride back home and uh, after a very, very long week, we have finally finished. She's Most done. crazy SEMA ever. We got all the cars back in a timely manner, which is very nice. And uh, we did very, very well. So it's time to load up and get these cars back home. Okay, SEMA might be over, but our SEMA weekend is not over yet. We have one small thing 
left to do. And this is something that HKS really wanted to do. So of course, I'm gonna make the little trip out there. We're gonna go meet up with the HKS guys before they head back to Arizona with their HKS R33 with, with RB28 number 001, which is super cool. They wanted to get a shot of my 33 and the actual HKS GTR together. So before we load up R33, we're gonna go meet up with the HKS guys, get some shots and just say our goodbyes. It's always so hard saying goodbye to everybody after SEMA. We get to see so many friends all in one place and all of the people that we work with. It's just so damn cool. So we're gonna go on one last little cruise with the 33 to go meet up with the HKS guys. Oh my God. That thing sounds ridiculous. But we got both the HKS GTRs together. That's so dope. I get to see a drive. Hey, what's up? What's up, dude? Jordan? How Good to you, see bro? you, man. Good to see you, Doug. This this is so freaking cool. So we're gonna get Jordan parked right over here and end our night with a really cool H gas shoot. Oh, that fuel pump. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Childhood me is literally dying inside right now. What a way to end our SEMA trip. I have to say, this is the most mind-blowing, I think, wrap-up of the year I have ever freaking had. So many insane memories have been created this year. So many insane builds have happened this year. And to cap it off with the biggest event of the year, being at SEMA with HKS, with the GTR, is truly unbelievable. And I cannot thank you guys enough for making this a reality for me. I often find myself thinking, how the hell did I get here? Because I'm never really jaded, but this is one of those times when you're just really like, what the f is going on? This is something I could have never, ever imagined. Literally in an HKS shoot. made it home and this is where we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video if you guys have stayed this long thank you so much it's always so difficult making SEMA videos trying to like pick and choose what to put in the videos because it's just like crammed with so much stuff so I try and like pull from the cars that I filmed and meeting you guys and hanging out with friends and it just turns into this like mushed ball of fun crazy content so i hope it was enjoyable for you guys to watch and i just try and film and show what catches my eye and what interests me so if there's anything else that you guys want to see through these videos let me know i'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here i going back and watching the hks shoot and hks checking out my gtr and i don't know it's just so crazy and what like i said what a crazy way to end this year also speaking of craziness this just happened and i thought it was really freaking sick look at this this is kind of a big freaking deal um, if this will focus, please. HKS just, HKS Japan just posted me on their Instagram. Literal, like, bucket list item checked off. That's pretty damn cool. I'll be going to end this video. It's already way too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Leave us a comment down below. Definitely hashtag made it to the end on this one. It's a long, crazy video with so much content. And, uh, of course, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys for the next one. Peace out.